Are you happy that the food is so cheap? Yes! Literally, it's so amazing. So cheap, yeah. So cheap, yeah. Siobhan. Hi, I'm Seppi. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Leah. And, and this, this is Zula Chit Chat. So today we're going to be talking about what age our parents should stop supporting us. So, so some signs that show that you're an adult, right, would be paying your own bills, not taking allowance and also getting your own plate. Let's just start off with what defines um, support. To me, right, it's like if at least 50% of your all your expenditure is, you know, funded by your parents, mm. then I think that it's more like your parents are still supporting you. Oh, I think parental support is just basically like parents' responsibility to take care and raise a child until they're capable of doing it themselves. My dad was so against even mm. me going to uni. He didn't want me to go to study graphic design. So he was like, no, 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 I don't want you to do that. And he's like a typical Middle Eastern mm. dad. And he was yeah. like, you've got to be a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist. Mm. And I was <laughs> like, uh, no, <laughs> this is not like what I can do. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it took a lot of convincing to kind of do that, but he agreed in the end. So stuff like that for me was kind of really important equally as well as financially. So parents supporting you will be like you living with your parents, for example, and mm. you not mm. contributing to them, um, helping them with their household bills, blah, 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 mm. blah, the kind of things that you don't think about on a normal basis. Uh. So the next question would be, until what age do you think Singapore parents support their children until? I think 25 is a good age. Because okay. that's when you like get your first job. Yeah. And you have like a stable income, and yeah. that's when your parents go like, right, you're on your own now. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think it was like for our parent generation, I think they were out the house maybe like 21, 22. Mm -hmm. But I think nowadays it's getting a bit older. Yeah. Like yeah. kids are only, you know, like only when they're 28 years old, then they'll move out and be financially independent. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's yeah, like the, when you get married, yeah, and then like you just yeah. move out yeah, of the house. Because even when you get married, I know a lot of people who still stay with yeah, their parents. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, BTO still need to wait to even like ballot and get the house. Yeah. Even for you, Seppi, yeah. what age for, for you in the UK that you can stop getting supported? Or do you think people in the UK stop getting supported by their parents? I think it really varies because like one of my best friends, she yeah. kind of stopped getting support when she was kind of like 16, 17. Oh, okay. Because yeah. she, she yeah, started really a normal. job. There's like a normal thing in the UK to kind of get a part-time job when you're 16. And she worked all the way during uni. So she'd be working mm. on Fridays. She'd travel from London mm. to Brighton oh, again to work okay. every weekend. Wow. Just to work mm. to help fund herself for uni. So I give her like a lot of respect. And you marry a lot earlier yeah like 18 years old have, like, some people do like one of my friends she got engaged when she was like 20 mm. something as well Wait, what, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i attended like a friend's wedding during my university what, what? Yeah, she's yeah. yeah yeah wow so they find friends and they find housemates and then they go and rent a house together yeah and then it just kind of continues from there so do your parents still support you up to now and why because i come from a quite a well-to-do background yeah. so i've kind of like always assumed that i've been living on with my parents for so long really enough after i started my internship i don't ask for money at all. Mm. So I've been completely like funding myself, which I'm really proud of when I did this yeah. fact, I was like, uh, I am adulting. Yeah. So as soon as I like landed my first job, I literally was like, I do not want like you to help me. And I sort of even said that to my parents. Mm. I was like, you know, you've kind of gone through all this hard work to help mm. me kind of pursue what I want to do. So why should I have to keep relying on you for money sort of mm. thing? But I still lived with my parents mainly because of the expense of living in London. Like, yeah. I couldn't afford mm. that with what I was earning. And you feel a lot more yeah. happier because you're like, from my own <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was literally like, like <laughs> for me, I started working when I was early 20s, so I was, you know, I didn't take any pocket money from them. Uh, when, I think a few years ago, I started to give them money. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then it also depends, uh, like, if I'm in between jobs, then, like, you know, they'll be quite understanding about it. My yeah. mom always said that if you start working, you must actually give them money. Mm. Yeah, mm. but she does pay for all the electricity bills, so that's why I think I'm not, like, fully like you know that's like me yeah exactly. they still pay for the bills they pay for food they pay for groceries yeah. mm. only if you really kind of live alone then you start yes. to realise that all these small little things right? oh my god yeah, yeah. the cost yeah. is so high yeah. Yeah. yeah even like water yeah. you know like mm. basic things you're gonna be living yeah. in darkness because you don't know how to know your lights <laughs> like, oh, electricity <laughs> never will lie <laughs> You know what oh I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, um, their parents do support me a lot, mm. especially since I just started working. I think a lot of us still live with our parents aside from you. Yeah. But obviously, I don't really have the capacity to pay for rent mm. for my house. But I do, like, Chef says, you know, contribute a certain amount every month to your parents. Because mm. I think yeah. this amount can kind of, like, pay for the electricity-ish. Mm. Like, it can kind of cover a bit of the cost. Yeah. So it still helps. But ultimately, you're not still fully financially independent mm. or, you know, completely not supported when you move out of the house. That currently still supporting you. <laughs> Please support me! Send help! Like, I need Send someone help. help! So I think Chef mentioned just now that nowadays, the age that which parents support uh, children is getting older. 
and I think it's, it's also true because based on studies, mm. uh, in the past it was from 21 to 22 and now it's mm. more 27 to 28 when you're married or 35 when you're kind of mm. unmarried. Do you think that this is an acceptable age now for parents to be supporting children given that in Western societies like you know you mentioned Sefi that, that a lot of times people move out earlier and you know live mm. on their own earlier. What do you think about that? Like my boyfriend's mom is very generous. Yeah. You know she'll buy like breakfast. Yeah. Every time I want to pay for a meal she's like no 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 I pay. Yeah. Then, Every day in yeah. the morning got the break come to yeah. 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 Every day she has a you got food. It's like oh my mom my boyfriend's mom buy for me. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah. 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 So like you know sometimes she will even drive me to work oh, yeah, yeah. and then like mm. They always want to pay even though I, I offer to pay. Mm. And then my, my boyfriend just told me, oh no, because like their mindset is that, you know, now they help us. So then next time when they retire, when they're old, then it's mm. our turn to yeah. look after them. Mm. So it's like those years that after they retire, it's our responsibility then to take over. Oh, I see, I see. So it's more of like the, you know, we take turns. And I feel like in the Western culture, there's the idea that you leave home to go further away to start your own yeah, life yeah. there. And so, yeah. so the idea is that thirst for adventure, kind of like you mm. literally like leave the nest in a way. Because Singapore is so small. <laughs> Like if you leave the nest to like the next neighboring <laughs> city, it's like you, you don't truly like become independent and support yourself. If like when shit happens, you can still like call your mom, yeah, you know? yeah. and she can still help you out. But then it yeah. was like in the UK, if things happen to you, right, especially for people who travel away to like start their own life, mm-hmm. it's like you literally have no emotional or financial support. You're yeah. you're on your own. Yeah. But then in the Asian culture, like me and my mom had this conversation like a while back. She said like no matter how old you are. I would still feel happier if you were to live near me or mm. if you still live yeah. with me. I think because my dad's Middle Eastern, he kind of has that similar cultural okay. background. Mm. And he's always, even when I wanted to come here, I've like never ever seen my dad upset. But mm. at the airport, he just like broke down. And he was like, I don't want you like to go. And every day he like messages me being like, oh, like I miss you. And my dad's never like mm. that. So mm. I think it's that sort of thing. He wants you to be near. So he kind of like parents just yeah. want to know yeah. that you're yeah. safe and that they can take, still take care of yeah. you, not mm-hmm. be halfway across the world. I think it's possible in Singapore to move out to rent your own place, mm-hmm. but also number one, the number of places available for rent is I think mm-hmm. less than maybe like in London or in yeah, the UK. Yeah, I would say it's less. There's also a lot of expats and people who come overseas and study who rent the places because they really need someone to stay. So like people who are younger, they don't necessarily want to go and rent a place because it's not the target market for people who are renting mm-hmm. apartments and stuff. Right. Since our parents also don't mind you staying at home to a certain yeah. age, yeah, so yeah. why not I just stay? For you guys in the future, right, what age would you support your child until? Do they get their first job? But then again, I will not spoil them and give them the money and like, spend a lot of unnecessary things. Yes, yeah. so I don't want them to have the habit yeah. to mm. be a bit like complacent and to take for granted right. the things that you know that I pay for la. Mid twenties to thirties, like mm. depending on their situation, like if they're struggling, I'd obviously like as your child you wanna look after mm. them yeah. and take care. But at the same time you wouldn't give them too much that they get spoiled. I think for me it's until I'm confident that they can financially like support themselves. Mm. I feel comforted knowing that they'll they'll be fine out there on their own, then I'll stop supporting them. Like if they are in the mindset that they are going to learn and they're going to be like, okay, I'm taking the steps to go there, but you know, you can't reach there so fast. Like, yeah. You can't be like, okay, when you get first full-time job, then like, okay, no, because like, yeah. it's not immediate, right? Yeah. Like, as someone who's going through it now, I know it's not immediate, it's not something that I can... And like, savings take time, yeah. Correct, it's not something you can change immediately, yeah. but as long as you're taking like, smaller steps to going mm. there, like for example, mm. stop taking allowance, you know, mm-hmm. and then, you know, maybe you contribute some gro- something to groceries, you buy your own groceries, you don't need to ask your mom to buy your, like, everything mm. for you and yeah. stuff like that. Then I think that's good enough for me, lah. I think, I think yeah. another thing I was going to bring up, right? I know some people, right, that they are afraid to enter the workforce, so you just end up taking different degrees and studying Oh my god, yes. my, 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 my uncle does yeah. that. And then like, does so that. I know people who is like, you know, their parents just tell them, please stop studying really. Yeah. Just go yeah. and work. Yeah. So I think maybe like a maximum like one degree. Yeah. Like maybe, yeah. but maybe. <laughs> Only then, one. One. <laughs> but if you're going to like, if you take like three different degrees because you're afraid to work, yeah. then yeah. it's no, it's a wake up call. Like, I think as long as you yeah. pay for education till they are able to get a job. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's, to me, that'll yeah. be, the rest is like, if you want to study masters, you want to be PhD, whatever, then it's up to you. Yeah. You just yeah. pay for your own. Uh. So today we talked about when we feel like our parents should stop funding us. Yes. And we concluded that we feel like there's no definitive age. It kind of happens when it happens. So if you guys have any experiences you want to share, feel free to leave in the comments and let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Bye.